history is, uh, is instructional and it's inspirational. If you don't know where you have come from, then you don't know where you're going. History can be used to confirm a people's humanity or deny a people's humanity. That's what we're trying to do, show people the past so that we can take those lessons on that blueprint and see how we can move forward together as a people. We've discovered probably the most effective way to get that story out was through film. Our history goes out into way out to uh, Bear County, uh, out in Elmendorf. Very little is known about the African-American experience here in San Antonio and what African-Americans have contributed to the growth and the development of this city. Because that's going to yeah. be the most contentious part of the whole movie. Yeah. We discuss topics like religion, politics, um, land ownership, um, businesses, and what we strive to do is paint a picture of what it was like during that 100 year period for African Americans here in the city. It's not focused on the one life. This is a film that really documents the life of a people. When it comes down to finding those people that we wanted to interview, it was like a connecting of pieces. A lot of the African Americans that lived in that particular community, uh, they lived in shotgun houses, but they were the people who actually did the work You know, how you interview one person and then this person tells you, well, you need to go talk to so-and-so. And then that person tells you, well, you need to talk to this person. Well, a lot of the employers up in Almas Park, Terrell Hills, San Pedro area, uh, they employed domestics and those domestics settled around in those areas, which we know now around Santa Rosa Hospital uh, downtown, off downtown area, Cameron Street and they formed their own neighborhoods. We went to different locations. We read numerous books and articles. We sifted through hundreds of photos and, and newspaper articles and newspaper clippings. It was, it, and you know, honestly, it was more of a research project than it was a film. Once we uh, was able to interview all the people, it just created a beautiful, uh, cohesive story that really showed how many contributed to the success of Oh. We started trying to gather photos in July of 2017, and we literally finished production the day before we premiered it, which was in August of 2018. The undertaking really was about trying to share that piece of information that we hope would inspire people, would uplift people, would be encouraging to know that there's a great history of us here in this city as in the world. You see it in the Spanish language, Mora, M-O-R-A, means black. There's a street here in San Antonio called Zaza Mora. Zaza is berry. Mora is black. Literally, Zaza Mora means blackberry. We're not going to give a date because that got us in so much trouble last time. But we promise it will definitely be 2019 and we're pushing for end of summer. <laughs>